um, hello Vinh, are you there? Dạ. Yeah. <cười> yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm late this morning because I had to go to the market and then I need to go to buy some medicine for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit sick. Can you hear my voice? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Right, so how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm not fine. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so are you back in Long City? Yep. Oh, okay, so do you miss your hometown now, or do you miss your Long City more? Um, miss both. Oh, you miss both, okay, right. So... Uh, when did uh, you went back to Harlem City last Monday, right? Yep. Ah, okay. This so... Monday. No, last Monday. Oh, yeah, this Monday. Okay, sorry. You went back to Harlem City this Monday. And uh, how was the trip? Was the trip long or it was very short? What? How was the trip back to Harlem City? Was it long or short? <laughs> long. Very long. How long? Four hour. Uh, how far? One hundred and sixty kilometers. One hundred and sixty kilometers in four hours. That's very long. Yeah, right. That's very long. Oh yeah. no. Uh, was the traffic like uh that that was like, was the traffic crowded? Was there a lot of traffic on the way? No. No, there was not a lot of traffic. Okay, I see. No, uh, is it isn't any traffic. Mm, there wasn't any traffic. I see. Thank you. Right. So, Ving, last time I asked you to prepare like a a small speaking practice for me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I told you to talk about your school. So now I want to listen to you describing your school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You can start now. Hello, I'm Vinh. I'm 10 years old. Ma, today I will tell you about my school. My school's name is Trần Quốc Toàn Primary School. My school is at Hong Howard, Hạ Long, Quảng Ninh. It isn't far from my house. If you go, uh, if you want to go from my house to my school, it takes five minutes. My school has four floors and I study at for a 12 class at third floor. There is a library there is a library to read books and a very little home to play sports. We like the badminton, basketball, and my favorite place is and my favorite place is schoolyard because mm. it has many shade trees and I can play football. Uh. I love my school very much. If you have a chance, invite you to my school to visit. Mm, okay, that's very good. Okay, one second. I need to write down something. There are a lot of trees that give shades. Okay, right. Right, so I am writing some of my comments for you, like things you need to fix. Okay, so the floor, when you talk about the floor which you study, you need to use the preposition on, like I study on the third floor. Okay, one Yay. more small mistake. Right, and you say that there are a lot of shade trees. Uh, that is a wrong way to say that, so you need to change it to lots of trees that give shade. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. So overall, your speaking was like almost perfect. <laughs> almost perfect yeah. because some part you stop and you think about your words for a moment, right? Okay, so that makes your uh speak a little bit <cười> a little bit imperfect. Nó khiến cho cái bài nói của mình hơi không hoàn hảo chút xíu. Nên là cố gắng là mình trôi chạy hơn, mình học thuộc tốt hơn. Hoặc là mình sẽ phải dựa vô một số cái từ khóa. Hoặc mình có thể nhìn lên tay mình có một số từ khóa mình viết lên trên đấy. Sau đó là mình nói. Thì nó sẽ kiểu như là uh, trôi chạy hơn tí xíu. Okay, good. Right, and I like that you have the intonation up and down. Your voice go up and down. And you have the opening 
and a perfect ending to your speech. And that was very perfect. Good. Right? You did this better than last time. So với cái chủ đề lần trước về sport thì lần này mình làm tốt hơn rất nhiều. Good. Okay. Thank you. Right, any question? No. No, okay, right. Uh, wait a second. Mm. Yay. Mm. Yeah, I am opening the file, okay, and I will share with you right now. Okay. Right, this is just a practice test. No, no don't need to be worried, right? So, uh, like I told you, at the end of this course, your mom would like you to take the flyer test. So now let's do some kind of practice test that help you remember the style or the formula, the way they do it and when you have a flyer test. Okay, so in this part, you already know how to do it. Just match the word with the correct definition. Right, you can mm. use these to either both right. Which one? Hmm, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, to eat a bowl of rice, you need to eat with what? Oh, there's one that is very, it's below, it's below an animal. Below the animals. Yeah, find an animal and then you will see it. Animal, this. Down. What? <laughs> right, so do you, you oh. know? Yeah, okay, you see it? see that oh okay very good right so sometimes we eat it with a spoon and sometimes we eat it with a chopstick okay not sometimes we usually eat it with chopstick so can you eat the rice with chopstick Ving? yep ah uh, okay very proud of you to say so okay uh until grade i'm not sure until grade five yeah i didn't use chopstick until grade five because i'm not i was not comfortable I didn't find chopstick easy to use. Right, good. Number two, if you have a problem with your car, this person will help you. Yay, that's good. Very, very good. Okay, that's a mechanic. Right. Oh. Hmm. Next one, a soap. Good job. Can you say it? Soap. Soap. Good job. That soap. You use this for washing Six your hands. Six what? Mm, oh, yeah. Dinosaur. Nope. <laughs> Easy, easy. You know that. Oh, you know that? Okay, now you understand. Thank you. Insect. Okay, good job. Is um caving. Okay, so is a spider an insect? What? Is a spider an insect? Yes. I don't think spider is an insect. Right. Spiders usually have eight legs, so they belong to another group of animal. But no, is there is a special special insect species? Special mm -hmm. special insect species. Okay, so maybe you're talking about spider. Okay, so yeah. spiders look like insects, but they're not insects. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are, They belong to their own group of animal. Nó có cái nhóm động vật riêng của nó đứng trên lớp động vật riêng của nó lớp nhẹ. Okay, and then other animals like other insects. They 
uh, look kind of same. They have wings and they have six legs. Yeah, okay. Move on to number five. Okay. This often white and a long neck. Ủa gì ta? Cái này luôn luôn là màu trắng. Và có cổ dài. Yes. Cái này gì ta? Ah. Ah, okay. Is it a plane? No. No, okay. Because planes are usually white, right? Yeah. But no, it has no many, uh, co many colorful planes. Yeah, they have many colorful planes. That's good. A swan. Good job. Okay. Right. So all of these here are correct. Good job, Ving. Okay, so let's see. Okay, chopstick, mechanic, so uh, insect, and a swan. Good job. Right. Number seven. When you are hungry. Between okay. middle meals. Meals are. So breakfast mm. is a meal. Lunch Ooh. is a meal. And dinner is also a meal. I know. You know? <clears throat> okay. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. You can eat this in between meals. Mean like this. So you ate breakfast already, but you did haven't ate, uh, haven't eaten lunch yet. You not eat lunch yet. So between breakfast and lunch, you feel hungry. So you eat something Ooh. small. Yes, you eat something small. And that is you eat between meals. Yeah, that's right. Very good. That's a snack and again, a meal là một bữa ăn. So, we have bữa sáng, bữa trưa và bữa tối, đúng chưa? Oh yeah, a snack, good. Butter, good. This lives a long time ago and is now untidy. Untidy. Okay. So uh, it's only a towel yet. No, 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 no. Oh, so sorry, sorry. It's not... Ah. Okay. You when your hair is untidy, like when you wake up and your hair looks like this. Yeah. When you wake up and your hair looks like this, that is when your hair is untidy, even. Oh yeah, your hair's untidy if it looks like this in the morning, right? That is when your hair's untidy. Yeah. Okay. So how do you say that? How do you read that? A comb. Okay. Say it again. A comb. A comb. Yeah, that's right. It should be a an O sound. A comb. Mm -hmm. That's right, an octopus eight legs and lives in the sea. Good. Right? All are correct. So, any other question? No. No, okay. So, can you say this again? A comb. A comb. That's right. You use a comb to comb your hair. Very good. Right. The first part is already okay. Yay. Okay, Ving. So, look here and write yes or no for me. Right. A photographer is taking pictures in the street. Okay, you don't need to write to say yes or no. Mình không cần viết luôn. Nói yes or no cho cô là được rồi. Mời em đánh dấu ơi, cũng được. Okay, đánh dấu tích hoặc là dấu x cho cô là được. Yeah, that's right. A photographer is taking pictures in the street. Yeah, okay, so you say no there. So what is the correct situation? The boy sitting on the man's shoulder is wearing a sweater with dots. Ah, wearing with dots, very good. Three. No, okay, there's no rainbow in the sky.
bigger than the other flaps. There Yay. is a girl which is walking behind the horses. Where's, where's the goat? You see no goat? So that is, oh yeah, there, there's a goat. Yes, there's a goat, but it's but not. No. But no, I just see uh, there is a little goat, no goat in front of the horses. That's right, the goat is in front of the the horses. So this sentence is yes or no? Behind, đi bộ, ở đằng sau. Con yeah. người thì không phải, đương nhiên vẫn là sai rồi. Yeah, okay. Quarter past twelve, yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. Quarter past twelve. Are you sure? No. No. It should be. Now is three o'clock. Yeah, that's right. It is three o'clock. Thank you. Right. It's the queen riding one the of the horses. Queen is riding one of the horses. What? No. Is it? Is she? Oh, no. Right. So what is she riding? She's riding a... A sengu. <laughs> yeah. Right. A carriage. A carriage. Very good. Right. Do we have carriage nowadays? No. Actually, we still have, but it's not very common in big cities, right? Not very common in big cities. And uh, if you want to have a carriage, you need to have what animal? Horse. That's right. Uh, can horses live in the city? No. No, that's right. So in smaller city or in the countryside, you see horses. And sometimes you will see a carriage, right? Do you know that, lad? Do you know that last city? Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. But you've never been there? Yeah. Okay. So in that last city, they have like some horse carriages that, uh, I don't know, it's just for tourists, right? So if you step on that carriage, they will take a uh, 100,000 down from you. <laughs> right. So you, you need to pay money if you want to go buy the carriage. Good job, but you understand this part, right? Easy. Okay, no question, and then I will move on. Yes, no, no, yes, no, no, and no. Good. Right, okay. So we're going to complete a conversation here. Good. Right, with one example. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. The letter C is already used for the example, so I'm going to cross it like this. Okay, do it, and then I will cross everything. Can I match? Mm, yeah, if you think that's faster. Nope, not this.
Done. Done. Okay, now let's see. Right. Oh, what are you going to do tonight? And you choose, you choose A. H. Yeah, I'm going to see a film at the cinema. Good job. What's it called? Um, okay, e. Dark, Dark Mountain. Oh, Dark Mountain. My favorite actor is in it. Good job. Right. Right. What's it about? Um, is it, It's A, right? Can you read A for me? A man who gets lost in a storm. Good. Okay, correct. It's an exciting. Can I come to? Of course you can. That will be fun. Great. Where can we meet? Uh, how about outside the cinema? Okay, see you later. Very good. Right? So now you're going to play Richard and I'm going to play Sarah. We're going to read the sentences together, okay? Yeah, okay. Richard goes first. Oh, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to see a film at the cinema. Was it called? Uh, Dark Mountain, my favorite actor is in it. Was it about? Um, a man who gets lost in a storm. It sounds exciting. Can I come too? Of course you can. That will be fun. Great. Where can we meet? Uh, how about outside the cinema? Okay. See you later. Okay. That's perfect. Right. I like that you have the intonation. You go up and down with your voice. That's good. And then when you read the phrase, what's it called? You connect the sound. That's good. Mình nói âm ở chỗ này rất là tốt nè. What's it called? Right? What's it called? Good. Okay. Another part. Right. So when you look at the picture here, what is he doing? He's diving. He's diving. Very good. Right. So... What is he wearing here? Do you know? Uh, yeah, glasses. Uh, it's actually that called goggles. Is diving googles. What? Goggles, not googles. Goggles. Okay, goggles. Yeah, goggles. The type of glasses that you wear to protect your eyes. Okay? Goggles. Okay, write the new word in. That's the goggles. Yeah, that's diving goggles or just goggles in short. Goggles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I forgot. Uh, I forgot. The the thing that he's wearing on his leg, his feet. Um, I will tell you later. Okay, I will tell you later. Uh, okay. Hmm. Right. So, okay. So, do you see this part? Okay. What can you see in the pictures aside from the boy diving? Nha, yeah, mình có thể nhìn thấy được gì khác ngoài cái hình ảnh mà bạn này đang uh, lặn xuống nhỉ? Some seaweed. Okay, some oh, seaweed. Some plants, some plants in the sea. Okay, some plants in the sea. Very good. Right. Uh, and I see a seashell and a starfish. Very good. Right, you see some seashell and, okay, starfish. Right. Okay, I remember now. Okay, you see this? Right? Okay. Yep. I call it, I call them diving. Sorry, it's diving. Okay? Diving fins. Diving fins. Very good. Diving fins. Yay. Because it looks like the fins of a fish, right? What is, what does it mean? Uh, đó là chân lặng. Để chân nè. Thật ra là cái tiếng Việt của mình gọi là chân, uh, chân vịt lặng. Nè. Chân vịt. Chân, chân vịt lặng. Chân vịt dùng để lặng. Còn ở trong tiếng Anh nó gọi là diving fin thì cái fin này là cái vây của con cá.
Okay. Ok, very good. Rồi, ở đây gọi là chân vịt lặn. Rồi, nhưng mà ở tiếng, uh, tiếng Anh thì nó gọi là vây lặn thôi, là cái vây cá. Ok, understood? Yeah, ok. Now I want you to do a reading that is related to the picture of diving. Ok, write the words in the correct spaces. David liked swimming under the water best. Suddenly, he saw a very strange fish here. Yeah. It was very long and thin and looks more like a, like a what? Long and thin. So what is long and thin? What could be long and thin? Do you think it's how Snake. Yeah, that's right. The thing that is long and thin is the snake. Good. I don't see any fish is long and thin uh, like mm. a snake yet. Oh, okay. Do you know the eel? Eel? Oh. Yeah, I eel. Know. It's kind of long and snake. Uh, I know it's not a type of fish you but are. No, I see it's shorter than uh, a snake many. Mm, okay. Right, okay, understood. Now we go to the next part. Okay, can you cross the word snake for me? I don't see it. No. Okay, Roman ball, cut the snake to go now. Good job. Okay, not the towel yet. Any fish is like that yet. Okay, I will show you later. He, he thought. Follow it. Followed. Or follow. not. Oh, but like the word follow. Đi theo xem nó thế nào. It just swam slowly away. David felt braver and decided to follow it. Right? He has an underwater camera with him, so he took photos of it. Took some photos. Yeah, he took some photo of it. Good job. Right, oh, now, so read this part aloud for me. But, đọc lại to lên từ đoạn bất chúc cô nào. What? À, đọc cái đoạn này to lên, đọc thần tiếng giúp cô và đọc từ bất nha. Right. It's dangerous. He thought, but he, but the fish didn't see him. It just swam slowly away. David felt felt braver and decided to follow it. He has an underwater camera with him, so he took some photos of it. That's perfect. Good job, right? Easy. Yeah. E, ok, so easy. Oh, 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 oh. Tự dưng cô xài mất những cái uh, mà cô đã gặp rồi. Right. The next day, he told his friend who was a journalist about the fish. His friend decided to write about the fish on Saturday. Oh. David's okay. stories and photograph of the fish was in the newspaper. Very good, was in the newspaper. No yeah. one else has ever seen that kind of fish show. So David is famous now. Ah, okay, right. Understood? Yeah. Okay, quite easy, right? So, give a name for the story. Pick a name for the story. Yay, okay, oh. thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. oh, oh, are you sure? No, sure. It is talking about a fish, right? 
David Strange Fist Very Con cá kỳ lạ của David Đúng Nhưng rồi. mà David nó đã sở hữu nó đâu nhỉ? À, chỉ là David đã tìm ra con cá đó Đúng chưa? Thì chúng ta có thể tạm gọi nó là chú cá kỳ lạ của David Đã tìm ra nó mà Ok We can understand it that way Yeah, so it is David Strange Fish Good Now I'm going to show you some pictures of uh, a very weird fish. Hồi nãy là Vân cũng có nói là cô hãy cho con coi những cái con cá kỳ lạ đúng chưa? Yeah. Yeah, okay, wait a moment. I am opening Google. Uh... Okay, right, don't be scared, okay? Don't be scared, they look kind of scary. Oh, yes. <cười> Snowfish? Yeah. Deep, oh, what? Deep sea fish. Why is, the go, why is the goldfish so big? Yes, goldfish. Oh, this one? Or, oh. or this one? Yeah. Yes, they it's, are very yes, they are very big. So amazing. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't see any... No goldfish to big is to big oh. like this picture. Wait me a minute. Um, this. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't that... see any. Uh, I, uh, I don't see any goldfish oh, too big. Yeah, that's this. Not, I don't think that's a goldfish. This is a seawater fish. Right? Seawater salt, fish. Like salt water. The like the summer biển, no? Right, so this is a saltwater fish. While do the... you know what the moonfish? I mean, uh, oh, yeah. uh, when uh, when it when uh, it grow, the tummy is like this, like this. Oh, like it's translucent, not trong suốt, huh? No. No, it's like this, but not the. Uh, but no, it's not. But it swims low, yes. Ah, yeah, the moonfish. Yes, I know. I know. Moonfish. Yeah, okay. So I am showing you some deep sea fish. Là những cái con cá nó sống ở vùng rất là sâu nha. Right, very, very deep. Right? They live very deep under the sea. And they have very strange, uh, I don't know, body, face, well, teeth, and so other things. Strange. Yeah, right. I don't know why. They live in very deep uh, water. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, can you go down for me, please? Yeah, this one. I don't see any fishes like this. Which one? The uh -huh. sending device allow fishermen. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's normal. I think that looks normal. But I don't see any fish like that yet. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Me neither. Right, okay. What? So no me neither, meaning I have I haven't seen I haven't seen anything like that too. Uh okay, so then we have Why is the... this no shark yet? Yeah, right. It looks like a shark, right? And it's kinda of ugly. But no the nose is so long, yeah. Yeah, very long. Okay. Mm -hmm. No I uh, see I see it's like this. Selen Provania, what? Hmm? Moonfish is so big, but yeah. no, when uh, when is no, when I think no, uh, no that that is from one to two months old. Mm. Okay, so when do you want the, to know? Yeah, about? the moonfish is small, smaller than the finger yet. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Right. Uh Ving, do you do you know a, do you want to know a fun fact? Yep. Okay. Cái con cá mà chúng ta gọi là moonfish á thì nó sẽ là cái con mà trông như thế này để cho đạt đây là cái con moonfish, được chưa? Rồi, còn uh, cái con mà chúng ta gọi thân thương tên tiếng Việt là cá mặt trăng ấy thì tên tiếng Anh của nó lại là sunfish. Sunfish. That's right. Cái con cá mà tiếng Việt chúng ta gọi là moonfish thì tên tiếng Anh nó lại là sunfish. Là cái con này này. Oh, See? so big. Yeah, they are very I big. I say this. When is nơi 
when it's small it's smaller than the finger yet yeah đã chơi đúng rồi khi mà còn bé xíu nó nó đó đúng như là cái hạt cơm luôn á nhưng mà khi mà lớn lên rồi thì nó rất là to nó khổng lồ để xem nào can uh, can you wait uh, 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 cô có thể mở uh, cuộc một vòng đời của con cá mặt trắng luôn không cô được ok I will show you Mm. Sunfish. Nó gọi là a life cycle Đúng rồi Ồ oh, ok Nó hơi dài đây nè Đây Đồ pen therapy mới Kiểm xả serum 2 trong 1 Giúp người dựng đến tầng tế bào của tóc Mua ngay À mình có nghe hay âm thanh không ha Yup Ok good Scientists have for the first time discovered the tiny baby larva that grows into one of the world's largest but yep. most mysterious oh, fishes. The bump well, has well, some fish, which some can fish grow to 2,000 kilograms in weight and 3 yeah. meters so in length. Small. Very small. A highly fertile and... Yeah, okay, so this is like before they get caught. Now. ...produce about 300 million egg cells in a single season. But it was not until a biologist at the Australian Museum Research Institute in Sydney extracted DNA from lava found on the New South Wales coast last year. The ah, look at this! It's a baby fish. You see it? That's a baby fish. The link to the yeah. giant creature was finally The baby met. fish when I uh, die, diving man uh, take big, mm -hmm. take big the photo. Yeah, right. Oh. By it's taking genetic well. material from the eyeball of the 2 mm long larval specimen, molecular biology. Okay, so this is a baby fish, right? And when they grow up, they can grow to more than 3 meters in length. in length and weight over 2,000 calories. Just the intro oh came from the perfect match with an adult sun fish preserved at the museum. Oh. <laughs> the sample had been oh. one of the. One millimeters? Yeah, one millimeter. Several now. collected by well, marine uh, rest. It looks ugly. In 2017. <laughs> and ugly, sparked yeah. the curiosity of some fish expert, Dr. Maria Nygaard, a researcher at the Auckland War Memorial Museum. Ooh. Dr. Nygaard said the link between baby the and adult sunfish fish had no, been so no. difficult. Yeah. No, of the human? Yeah, that the first sunfish caught by human, yes. ...to make because the adult vision looks nothing like a lava. She added it was even harder to do this because... Robert ...is was the same type of sunfish as the one caught by Robert Chadwick at his war mill in, in 1882. And now on this play, what? So, because this it's... play is what? On display is to show to everyone in the museum. Huh? Display là kiểu như là trưng bày cho mọi người xem ở trong museum. Để xem nào. Oh. Yeah, okay. Understood? Yeah. Yeah. The sunfish lava are not commonly found in the ocean. If we want to protect these marine giants, we need to understand their whole life history, and that includes knowing what the lava look like oh and where they occur, Dr. Nygaard said. This is the first time we have been able to genetically identify a Mola Exentrony larval specimen yeah, okay. anywhere in the world. A full-sized bump head. Right, you kind of understand what the baby, the sunfish looks like, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, right, baby. Sunfish look like. They're buying birds. What? Oh, they haven't birth. seen before. Oh, it means that the way animal gives birth and some some animals, when they give birth, it looks very scary. No, yes. You want to see that? No. No, okay. I want to see it one time yet. Uh, I really want to see it one time. About no. That's a sunfish, and their mouth is always open. They're a big, slow fish. So slow, the only thing they can catch is jellyfish, which might as well have a chain link fence for a brain. And parasites love them. They got about 40 different species of parasites living. Okay, she speaks very fast, but uh, it's just a sunfish, okay? She's just introducing uh, the sunfish to us. See it?
No, yeah. I want to see your uh, no the bird bird of some animals. Oh, you want to see the bird of animals? I will send yeah. this. I want. I will send this video to you so you can see it at home because we don't have enough time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to copy the link here. Yeah, and I will send it to you. Right in Zalo. Right. So I think we need to get back to uh studying. Uh, what is it again? Hum, what is it again? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, yeah. We need to study what? We need to study about emotional intelligence today, right? Yeah. Look, go see again. Just five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Okay, right. Thank you. Okay, just five minutes and we're done with today's lesson. Okay. Right. See? Okay, last time we talked about uh, how, okay, what happens with my body? Like what happens with your body when you get angry? Okay, so now we uh, look at the third lesson. What do you do when you get angry? Or what do people do when they get angry? Right. I read the story. When Toby, when Tupi raised his fist towards Frog, he felt more comfortable. Well, I feel better now. The splash water did not make me feel uncomfortable anymore, Tupi thought to himself. But since Tupi often get angry, his friends in the pond don't want to play with him anymore. Today, when Tupi invited his friends to play hide and see, they all hesitated and keep the distance. Why is that? Tupi wants to play with everyone. Do you understand this part? Yeah. Okay. So when Tupi gets angry, he's like this towards his friend. And because his friend sees that Tupi is angry and he might hit them oh the friends don't want to play with him anymore yeah why because they feel what because they feel yeah. they feel scared of two p right yeah if you're scared of two p so when you get angry be careful or you will scare everyone and they don't want to play with you anymore okay yeah okay so let's watch the video of uh, the teacher that explains the story of Tupi, and then we end our lesson, okay? Okay. Xin chào các bạn. Tôi là Tupi đấy. Hôm nay tôi nói với các bạn bằng cái giọng đấy vì tôi thực sự đang rất là giận dữ. Các bạn ơi, các bạn còn nhớ là lần trước Tupi giận dữ vì điều gì không nhỉ? Đúng rồi, bạn ếch nhảy qua bắn nước vào mặt Tupi và lúc đấy thì Tupi đã có những biểu hiện như thế nào? Đỏ mặt và thét lên vào bạn ếch, đồ ếch xấu xa. Không chỉ có thế, Tupi còn tiếp tục có những biểu hiện như sau nữa nhé. Tupi bơi đến chỗ bạn ếch và Tupi dậm chân, thét lên thêm một lần nữa. Đồ ếch xấu xa, ta muốn đánh nhà người, đi cút đi. Đấy là tất cả những biểu hiện của Tupi khi giận dữ. Còn bạn, khi bạn giận dữ, bạn sẽ có những biểu hiện như thế nào? Có phải là các bạn sẽ làm những hành động như sau không? Dập chân, thét lên, hoặc thậm chí đánh người khác. Có những bạn tự cào, tự rất tóc, tự làm đau bản thân. Và có những bạn thì khóc nước mắt trào ra. 
và như tu pi thì các bạn thấy những biểu hiện rất rõ ràng đúng không ạ bơi đến gần bạn ấy dậm chân thét lên và thậm chí là nói những từ ngữ rất xấu xí đấy là những hành động mà chúng ta có thể làm trong lúc giận dữ vậy thì các bạn có đồng tình với tu pi trong quá trình mà tu pi xử lý cơn giận không nhỉ Chúng ta sẽ còn cùng tiếp tục với Tu Pi trong hành trình đi tìm hiểu về cơn giận và cách xử lý cơn giận như thế nào cho hợp lý ở các video sau nhé. Ok, right. So, Vinh, have you ever seen someone get angry and act like the teacher said? Mình có nhìn thấy no. bạn nào mà nổi giận mà sau đó là uh, giống như là cô giáo nói là sẽ có những cái biểu hiện, ví dụ như là khóc nè. Đúng chưa? Có. Hay à, có bạn nào tức giận và khóc chưa? Có bạn Vinh rồi cô ạ. <cười> có bạn Vinh luôn đấy hả? Đó. Trời ơi vậy mà hôm bữa mà cứ hỏi là Vinh ơi con có bao giờ tức giận chưa? Con bạn chưa? Con chưa bao giờ tức giận. <cười> có thể là con không có. Không <cười> sai. À vậy là không có nhìn nhận đó là cơn giận mà con đó là một nỗi buồn, một sự buồn hơn đúng chưa? Đó. Thì hãy mình hãy để ý là à, với, với cái cơn giận của mình thì mình có nhiều cái biểu hiện khác nhau để cho mọi người thấy là mình đang tức giận đúng chưa nào. Và những cái cảm xúc đấy thì nhiều lúc đó, nó khóa thân thành cái hành động mà nó như thế nào. Không có tốt đúng chưa. Mình có thể là tức giận quá mình đánh người khác, làm đau người khác. Nhưng cũng có khi tức giận quá là mình tự làm đau chính mình. Thì chung quy là tất cả những cái đó đều không tốt. Hãy cẩn thận chú ý với những cái biểu cảm đó của mình ha. Đúng chưa nào. Rồi, ok. Thank you, Vinh. Trong những buổi học sau thì chúng ta cũng sẽ tiếp tục là tìm hiểu xem là à, mình tức giận như vậy, mình bộc lộ những cảm xúc như vậy thì làm cách nào để mình bình tĩnh lại. Được chứ? Ok. Ok. Thank you, Vinh. Thank you so much. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Ok, goodbye. Hey, good job today. See you. Ok.